you all so today our topic is very crispy and very small topic and very 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 uh, useful uh, topic uh, in the business applications like in the day to day this will be widely used by the peoples in the projects so one is vacation rules so vacation rules is if you ask me it will be imply for me and also it will imply for everybody so definitely people should to take the vacation right people should to take the leaves so whenever the approver taken the leave how system should route that specific approval document to someone else so i took a vacation so whatever uh, documents which are waiting for my approval it has to go to my lead or my manager or my subordinate so how are you going to set up the things in the system so vacation rule is very very important and uh, this will be very widely used things in the business in the projects so end users okay so now what i'm trying to do is okay so this is the actually architecture means uh, this is the approval rule will, will be triggering uh, based on uh, my certain conditions so let's say this claudin has has in uh, vacation so how to set up this vacation rule in the system so that whatever documents which are coming to claudin between the dates that automatically system route to some ex person let's say william faber or who is someone else so to do that so we'll jump into this application so i am in the in incognito incognito so i jo i log in with the claudin okay so means like employee is log in with that then go to here bpm list or notifications click on show all so whenever the person having employee role automatically that uh, vacation rule set up i mean vacation rule uh, uh, box or the navigation will show in the system so go here and open this drop down preferences in the preferences once you have employee role this preferences will be enabled and it will show uh, to the all the people across the like who are going to use okay. so here he he has only this one because he is not a administrator so he is having only this one now i wanted to do that let me revert back uh -huh. okay vacation rule enable that's all okay it is very simple guys see uh, i need to show it. Okay. see enable vacation period remove yourself from automatic uh, these and all like self exported void and uh, just read start date so from when to when he is want to take the leave so he already taken from 27th to 30th Okay. So here, if you see the reassign delegate, so the basic difference between reassign delegate is, let's say our levels, let's say uh, this cloud level is ten, eleven, twelve. Let is those are the bands or levels, whatever we call it. Now he is taking the vacation. If we assign this reassign to level. of uh, i mean band of 20 or band of 11 so what system will do is system will automatically change the level of approval from 11 to till 12 13 based on the uh, whatever uh, rule we have we have uh, we have uh, written that so reassignment the level the hierarchy level will change so i think if you do that then only you will understand otherwise you can't understand but delegated to is 
it will delegate this particular document to him like a, as per example i am delegating to william faber and then once it has approved it will come back to same level i think it is very tough to understand i know that but let's see just layman language uh, this guy is taking the leave and is applying is delegating to this guy so this guy is taking the leave and is delegating to william faber let's see how system will behave okay so click on save now rule is saved and he happily taken the leave now i wanted to check that how system will behave when the any person in the approval will take the leave okay. so let us go here take this make a duplicate because nothing to enter several times not to say the time and also now pr is not working in my instance until if the pr has been things have happened we need to do some more kind of activities on that and uh, further sessions we'll see sourcings and suppliers okay these are also very uh what you call uh, hot not hard at hot topics but these are like will be used widely in the procurement so if you ask me in the procurement they are going to use, they are going to use widely self service procurement ssp which have shared lot of things catalog base local catalog punch out punch out i don't think so i have not covered but punch out and then uh, information catalog and then uh, what do you call uh, smart forms okay and touchless pos and then agreements pr po combinations and after that uh, reassign duplicate duplicate withdraws okay and then i have shown i think i have shown even uh, uh, receipts my receipts inventory receipts inventory expense and also i have shown the ba uh, just basic of tad transaction account definitions okay and we'll jump to negotiations and sourcing in upcoming sessions okay now save it manage approvals see in the manage approvals once you click on system won't show won't show this guy is only okay until it's submitted then only it'll show i click on submit now claude peterson here it will show the system delegated to so and so person now it is take time yeah bit of time it will take here it is see claude peterson delegated to william faber now if i verify here oh, what is the number number is 31 so i'm in the claude uh, credential still if i refresh the page is there anything will be pending with him 29 only it is pending so 31 is not there so now i wanted to log in with william william faber let me check after he approved that what will happen in the system approval purchase order required so open this and you can verify all the things here 
and if you feel like you know he required more information that also you can do from actions there are a lot man but uh, oracle cloud is beautiful as compared to ubs it is awesome faculties okay so that is what a uh, lot of users and a lot of you know r and d are going on even the projects are increasing and you know oracle also getting a lot of billings everything will be moving good see and as any serious and delegate route task suspend with draw suspend means just suspend with draw means you feel you can with draw if it is with draw it won't go to for another person skip current assignment you can have a option to you can skip the assignment also so add a comment add attachment add as any uh, i don't know about this so now let us go route task i don't know what is this oh you will route to some other department fine very good man it's really pretty good now let let me go to approve is and system will ask uh <coughs> approval comments what is the name I forget cloud this guy is on leave on leave and view is pretty fine and i will be approving well, i will be approved I am a writer. Submit. Here we go. So go back to pending. See, now William approved. System is routed to next person. William, because that guy is on leave, right? So William approved Peterson, then Peter Elberry build like that. So that is the vacation group. Reassign and delegation is very, very simple. Reassign means the hierarchy will change. And I'll show with the live example so that you people should understand in a deep way. But you know, I, I could not do today because I don't have proper data set up in my system. And I'll do that. Okay. So vacation rule is very simple, guys. It is very widely used kind of things. So in the vacation we have a reassign delegation, but both are same look wise, but uh, there is small difference. Okay, so I don't want to take a more time because people are in the weekend mode and I wanted to end up the session. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye. Take care. Please subscribe the channel so that you know you people will get a lot of new things in the procurement not only procurement i am going to uh, use this bridge for uh, order management inventory in upcoming class in uh, in upcoming days okay thank you have a wonderful weekend bye bye